Welcome back everybody to another video. As you can see behind me, hopefully I have a good angle. This is the Tower of Americas. Pretty cool stuff. And perfect, you can see the elevator going up right now. It's partially outside, which is kind of cool. Hopefully you guys get a good look at the elevator going. Um, but we're gonna walk over here and kind of show you around the place. I haven't had a good chance to look at anything yet, but this seems like a nice enough area to do all the intro stuff. Got all these trees, they're lit up. I'm sure this looks really cool at nighttime. But yeah, guys, um, welcome back. Thank you for clicking on the video. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We make videos every week. Thank you to all the members. Thank you to all the subscribers. And look how cool that looks. Ooh. Let's get across the stage. Probably looks cooler over here. Hopefully you can hear me, the water is a little bit loud. Looks awesome. Really cool stuff. Sorry I'm not wearing my usual hat. It's very cold today. There's a winter storm that happened not too long ago. Oh, look at this. Seems like there should be another waterfall here, but no water is coming out. I don't know why. And all this looks like it's supposed to have water coming out too, but maybe they're doing some renovations. Maybe it's so cold that it froze the pipes. No way of knowing. But we're gonna come up here for just a second so I can show you some of this other scenery because I saw this huge, look at that. You guys see that? Gigantic stadium and it looks really nice. And my first thought was, oh, that's gotta be where like the Spurs play. Oh, uh, you know, it's going to be really bright on camera because of the sun. You, probably, you, you guys probably can't even really hardly see it, but it's a nice looking stadium. Hopefully it's not too bad. Sorry, guys. The sun is really bright today. Um, but yeah, apparently only a uh, university plays there, like a college. So it's not even a professional stadium, which I was surprised about because it's really big. Maybe they used to play there. Not sure, but I think it's UTSA. University of San Antonio, Texas. Don't quote me on that though. I'm sure they have other stuff that happens there, but that's the main team that plays there. But anyways, that's not what we're here for. We're here for this huge tower that looks fantastic called the Tower of Americas, like I've already said, Americas with an S. And uh, I have some facts that I just forgot all of them. Locally, this tower is known as the Tower. I know, very, um, specific and very good naming scheme. Not really, I'm being sarcastic. But uh, this actually used to be the tallest observation tower in the world. It still is the tallest observation tower in Texas, but it got beat quite a while ago at this point, but it got beat by the stratosphere, which if you don't know, is in Las Vegas, where I'm from. So I'm very familiar with the stratosphere. And this one, Kind of has a similar shape and look to it, I guess. But they are a lot different in many ways. Let me do a little bit of skating so people don't complain that I never skate in my videos. It's kind of hard when uh, the ground is rough like this. You get all these weird, um, oh goodness, weird little square blocks and you get stuck in them. Oh shoot, can we even get out this way? I'm not sure we're supposed to be over here. But at least this is nice and flat. Haha, <laughs> that works out. Sorry for the lack of cool tricks and stuff, guys. My hands are freezing. My legs aren't warmed up. It's very early in the morning. I don't know why I always do this to myself. I always come out here early. Well, I kind of know why. I like to get the day started and I like to be out and about when there's not as many people. So that way I'm not Getting in, get, getting in anybody's way. That's how you know it's cold, I can't even talk. Um, so, let me show you guys. I wanna get, oh man, of course this is closed. Okay, we're gonna have to make some detours here. Hold on guys, I will talk a little bit more. Um, man, I wish we had a better angle. Once we get further away from it, you can kinda see the tower better. Give me a second. We'll come over here 
And this right here is probably the worst damn stuff to skate on. I don't know what this is. I think they're sandstone slabs, but oh, they're very inconsistent with their shaping and it makes it very sketchy to skate on. I've almost fallen like eight different times. But I saw that there's some other unique stuff, so I'm kind of happy we get to go this way. I came down this way when I first got here. See, look at this, this is ridiculous. It's only a little bit further now. Okay, I thought this was kind of interesting. You have all these like small little houses here and they all look condemned. Well, they are condemned. They don't look condemned, they are. They're all boarded up. And uh, I wonder why they're even still here. It's kind of confusing as to the reasoning behind that. It just seems odd and strange to me. How's it going? Why are these houses still here? You just think they'd tear them down or something, you know? Yeah, because they're historical markers. Oh, okay. I they guess that makes sense. Yeah, they won't tear them down. Got it. They just leave them here. They're just building, uh, they're renovating this one here for park police. Oh, that's good. So, that's yes, good. they have a little bit bigger building. They have one of these little ones. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's they funny. won't knock them down, man. It's yeah. part of the history. I appreciate it. Huh? Well, So now you guys can kind of see a better look of the tower. So that big thing at the top, where you, the dome, I guess you want to call it, it actually spins around in a circle. And um, there's restaurants up there, there's things you can do up there and all sorts of stuff. And apparently, it only takes one horsepower to make it spin. I hope I'm getting a good angle, guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying here. It only takes one horsepower to make it revolve. And they say it only takes that much because it's so well balanced which I thought was pretty interesting. And uh, whoever was the architect probably did a really good job. I don't know if you could hear that, uh, I don't know if he's security or police or whatever, but he was talking about, I think he was park police. He was talking about how the reason why they don't tear them down is because they're historic landmarks. But if they're historic, you think they'd wanna like show them off and not have like boards on the windows. But who knows, what do I know? I don't know anything, I'm just here chilling. So we are actually gonna be on our way. Well, I have some more fun facts real quick before we get too far away from the tower. Um, apparently, when it, after it got done being built, they had a naming contest to see what the name would be. So they sent out, I guess, ballots to everybody and you could write in, this is a good angle, what you wanted it to be called. And some of the suggestions were the Hemi Spire, the Purple People Steeple, Haya Tower, and uh, the wine glass of friendship and cloud lift, which that name is way too long. Um, <laughs> but apparently only 68 people submitted Tower of Americas. And I guess they just went with that name. Um, whatever, kind of like purple steeple people or whatever the, they, they came up with. That one's pretty funny, but it's probably more of a joke than anything. Okay, um, I don't know what this says over here, but it looks kind of cool. It's pretty nice. We can kind of check it out. Yeah, this looks actually pretty cool. But I am going to be on my way to... Maybe this is it. I'm not sure if this is it or not. I want to check out... There's a place called La Villatilla or something. I don't know. La Villita. La Villita. I'm kind of far away from it, so this is not it. This is just a playground. Still pretty nice for the kids. I always like to see when um, big cities have stuff for the community. It's always something I look for when I'm uh, visiting places. Oh, and this right here reminds me of Spain. There's a place in Spain that has a, a huge art place like this that I visited a long time ago. Pretty cool. But we are gonna make our way down to the Villa, Villa Tilla or whatever it's called. I'm never going to say that name right, so please don't make fun of me. We'll show it off in the next video probably. We might cut this one here because I've been rambling a lot. At some point, I do need to go find some gloves because it is very cold and holding the selfie stick is 
<laughs> gonna give me frostbite on my fingers, I think, if I do it for too long. Let me see. Yeah, we kind of got a ways to go. So I might stop the video here and uh, update you guys when we get to the other place, but that will not be in this video. This will be in another video. So I hope you guys got that, enjoyed that nice look at the uh, Tower of Americas. Sorry it was a little short, but hopefully you enjoyed it just the same. We have a lot to do here, a lot to see, so I want to uh, make sure we can have a chance to accomplish all of it. And uh, yeah, so anyways, guys, if you're new here, subscribe. If uh, you're a member, thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate it so much. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Don't forget to ring that notification bell.